Hello everyone, welcome to the anubavtrainings.com. In this series of tutorials, we are talking about RESTful ABAP programming model. In the last video, we discussed about creating our database table using ABAP on cloud system. In this video, we will talk about how to create your first CDS entity, a CDS view on top of the database table. Remember, the CDS view works as an entity for the RESTful ABAP programming model's business object, which we will also discuss in the subsequent session. So let's switch to our development environment. And you can see here we have created a database table. You can also download this complete source code from the description of the video. So let me go ahead and now create a CDS data view on top of this database table. So I will go ahead and create a right click on our package and choose here core data services and we will create ZRAP CDS sales order entity for wrap say next and now we will be using our database table and let's give a DD view name and now we will be using our database table name which we just created remember we are following a strict naming convention zrep underscore sales order let's include all the fields over here and also mark quickly the annotations for semantics All right, now we will activate our CDS. Very nice. So now in this step, we have seen how to create a CDS view. Of course, right now in our table, we don't have any data. In the next subsequent lessons, when we will create a business object, we will be able to test our business object using EML. And that is the point when we will be able to also inject and insert the new data as part of our uh, database table using RESTful ABAP programming model. So, if you're liking this video, please don't forget to share and subscribe this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also take benefit out of this free learning series on RESTful ABAP programming model. And I will see you in the next video.